dear students today i am going to take up this concept of electric dipole a dipole it consists of two equal and opposite charges separated by a small distance here there is a charge minus q one more charge plus q these are two equal and opposite charges separated by a small distance such a system it is called an electric dipole so a dipole consists of two equal and opposite charges separated by a small distance this is called an electric dipole the strength of this electric dipole the strength of electric dipole it is expressed as a dipole moment or sometimes it is also called as electric dipole moment symbolically represented as p this electric dipole moment it is a vector quantity its magnitude is given by product of either charge and the separation between the two charges the magnitude of dipole moment is given by product of either charge and the separation between the two charges further this dipole moment is a vector quantity so vectorially this can be written as vector p is equal to p p k where this p is nothing but q into q a so this p k it gives the direction of this dipole moment so p k is a unit vector directed from minus q to plus q so the direction of dipole moment is always from negative charge to positive charge so this is the direction of p vector p so remember dipole moment is a vector its magnitude is this much and the direction of this dipole moment is negative charge to positive charge and further its unit so it is coulomb meter so what is dimensional formula coulomb a into t sorry a a t this meter l so this is the dimensional formula for dipole moment next uh, in an electric dipole the total charge is zero this is plus q minus q therefore net charge is zero but the electric field due to the dipole is not zero because if you consider any point due to this positive charge there is an electric field here due to the negative charge there is an electric field here so as the two charges being separated by some distance at any point surrounding this dipole electric field cannot become zero so in a dipole the net charge is zero but not the electric field and we can find the electric intensity due to a dipole first on an axis see a line passing through these two charges this is called the axis of the dipole this big point of the two charges this is called the center of the dipole a line passing through the center and perpendicular to the axis this is called equatorial line so first we shall find 
electric intensity due to this dipole on the axis and then on the equatorial plane. These uh, derivations are very important for the examination. If you go through old question papers, you will find this question many times. Find the electric intensity on the axis of electric dipole. So this 
direction it is opposite to this p cap so the both is a direction is to be given as minus p cap now at the point p these two are in between sorry in opposite direction so from principle of superposition resultant electric intensity at p this vector e is equal to e1 plus e2 it is like this so if i add these two equations this 1 by 4 pi epsilon not is common q is also common so you have This one divided by r minus a whole square minus r one divided by r plus a whole square into p. Rest of the thing is the simplification. Therefore, this vector a, this is q divided by four pi epsilon r into So if I take LCM here, R square minus A square whole square. So this can be written as R minus A into R plus A whole square. R minus A into R plus A will become R square minus A square. And this term if I take here and expand, R square plus A square plus two R A. I take this term here and expand. R square minus R square plus two R E. So these common terms can be cancelled. Of course, P cap is here. Therefore, this vector E is equal to one by four pi epsilon r. So two A R Q into two. 
So you will get this two here. This becomes the final expression for electric field at a point on the axis of dipole. From this expression, you can understand that on the axis of the dipole, the direction of electric intensity will be same as the direction of dipole moment. Here, see this point B being close to this positive charge. So this field is stronger than this field. So the resultant electric field is in this direction, which is same as the direction of this dipole moment. Even if you take this point B this side on the axis, even though you take point B on the axis near the negative charge, still the direction of electric intensity will remain the same because when P is here. Magnitude of electric field due to negative charge it is stronger than that of the positive charge, and due to this negative charge, the electric field is in this direction. Therefore, it will be seen as the direction of the pole moment. So, what I mean to say is, whether you take the point P towards the positive charge or towards the negative charge on the axis, the magnitude and the direction of electric field will remain same. So, overall. Overall, magnitude of electric field on the axis is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught to 2 p by r p. Its direction is same as the direction of dipole moment. So this is about electric field on the axis of electric dipole. So you just mention this point and you simply carry this derivation. Thereby, ultimately, you will arrive at the final expression. Just you practice this derivation once or twice, you will become thorough. Very simple. In a similar way, one can also find electric intensity on the equatorial line. So this line passing through the center perpendicular to the axis, this is called equatorial line. This is root 2a. Now I consider a point P on the equatorial line. Distant R from the center. So as we did in the previous case, to find the electric intensity here, it will be the vector sum of electric intensity at P due to this charge and this charge. So consider electric dipole of moment. P is equal to Q into Q. Let P be a point distant R from the center of my So when this distance is R, this distance is A, obviously this distance will become root of A square plus R square. So if I take this uh, point as A and this point as B, this AP is equal to BP it is equal to root of R square plus A square. So, 
due to discharge at this point the electric intensity is given by E1 which is 1 by 4 pi epsilon huh? Q divided by what is this distance? P, B or B, P square what is the direction? So this is E1 because this is a positive charge due to positive charge electric field is directed away So this is the point P So this is the direction of this electric field E1 
since e1 is equal to e2 this e can be written as 2e1 cos theta therefore this e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r square plus a square this one e1 is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r square plus a square and this cos theta see from this triangle right angle triangle cos theta it is nothing but ob divided by pb so this is a so it is a divided by root of r square plus a square so if i rewrite this equation it will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q into 2a r square plus a square whole to the power of so this q into 2a it is nothing but a magnitude of dipole moment so this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p divided by r square plus a square whole to the power of d by now what is the direction of this resultant electric field e with respect to this dipole moment here this dipole moment is in this direction p cap whereas this e is opposite to p cap therefore if i write this equation vectorially like this i need to mention this minus p cap this is the magnitude when i consider the direction of electric field with respect to dipole moment direction the electric intensity expression can be written like this so this vector e it is a minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon na. this p p cap is nothing but vector p divided by r square plus a square 4 to the power of e by p again this a it will be very very small compared to r therefore this a square can be neglected so if i neglect this term a square in the denominator it becomes r square whole to the power of 3 by 2 which means this is minus of 1 by 4 pi epsilon na, vector p divided by r this is the expression for electric intensity at a point distant r on the equatorial line of a dipole here this negative sign is on account of the fact that at every point on the equatorial line direction of electric intensity is opposite to dipole point so this is the expression for dipole moment on the equatorial line of a dipole after looking at uh, these two derivations you can make out these following points the first thing So, 
electric intensity decreases with the distance more rapidly in case of dipole than that of a point charge. So this is one thing you can make out from these equations. So electric intensity it decreases with the distance so more rapidly in case of a dipole than that of a point charge. The second point is for a dipole electric intensity on the axial line electric intensity on an axis it is drawn by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught to 2 vector p divided by r u and in case of equatorial line it is minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p divided by r u so if you compare these two equations when you compare these two equations you can make out the electric intensity on the axis is double that of electric intensity on the equatorial line at equidistant points and the direction of it is opposite so electric intensity on the axis is equal to 2 times electric intensity on the equatorial line at an equidistant point and the electric intensity direction of electric intensity on the axis and equatorial line they are opposite see on the axis electric field is in this direction on the equatorial line electric field is in this direction so on account of that this negative sign is there but when you consider the magnitudes, when R is equal, electric field on the axial line will be double that of the electric field on the equatorial line. So this is the uh, second point which you need to remember. Third thing is In a dipole, when this uh, dipole moment is finite, when a two a tends to zero, when two a tends to zero, the separation between the two charges in the dipole tends to zero then this two tends to infinity if p is finite for a dipole dipole moment is finite so when this p is finite if separation between the two charges tends to zero then obviously this will become infinity such a dipole, such a dipole in which 2a tends to 0, q tends to infinity and p is finite, this is called a point dipole. This can be asked in the examination for one more, what is a point dipole? So point dipole means in a dipole with a finite dipole moment, if 2a tends to 0, then q tends to infinity, such a dipole is called as a point dipole. The next point is you found the electric intensity on the axis as well as on the equatorial line. See these points are also called as this is a point on the axis is called end on position. A point on the equatorial line it is also called as broadside on position. Sometimes the wordings may be changed. 
axis it is called end on position any point on the equatorial line it is called broadside on position so you found the electric intensity at these two positions only if i consider some arbitrary point like this so this point is neither on the axis nor on the equatorial line there is some point like this p then this electric field can be found in the same way as we did in the two cases so here this is all p i take this angle as theta then the component of dipole moment along this direction will become p cos theta so for this p cos theta this point will be on the axis so in the formula for on the axis instead of p you have to consider p cos theta similarly if i consider this perpendicular component like this so here this is a p cos theta so when i consider the component of p along it becomes p cos theta so for this p cos theta you only in this direction next when i consider the component of this p along this will become p sin theta that means this is a negative charge and this will become the position of the positive charge and this point will be on the equatorial line now so when i consider the dipole moment to be p sin theta this point will become on the equatorial line so on the equatorial line this becomes a dipole moment so this becomes a direction of electric field now so if i find the resultant of these two by using pythagorean law so this becomes the direction of resultant electric field so in this formula for electric field on the axis instead of p you take p cos theta in this formula you take p sin theta instead of p you add those two electric fields vectorially you get this resultant electric field that resultant electric field is given like this